yeah hi we are from svs embedded the project title name is called distance based accident avoidance system using a can protocol and tracking through web page iot so in this project i'm using an arm 7 lpc 2148 and i'm using a hcsr 04 ultrasonic distance measurement module i'm using and it will detect the distance of 1 meter off meter like that so here i'm using one uh, controller section and it will send the data to the arm 7 here i'm using one uh, 16 cross 2 lcd display whatever the process is going on that should be displayed on the lcd and i'm using an uh, mcp2515 can controller and one can trans receiver i'm using can high low and I'm using uh, if the distance of 1 meter it should be uh, tell you red LED, uh, green LED no obstacle if there is any obstacle the buzzer shown should be on when green col red color LED should be indication and if it is uh, touches to the uh, uh, vehicle means accident occurred orange color LED means indicator should be on let us coming into the hardware uh, receiver unit so we are using b4d dot in slash cam, uh, slash can can protocol so here I am using one uh, ARM7 LPC2148 16 cross 2 LCD display and one DC motor PWM technique if there is no obstacle motor should be fast if something should be uh, near to the uh, vehicle the speed of the uh, motor should be decreases and if it is touches alarm should be on and it motor should be off and if uh, f f distance should be uh, if the obstacle should be near the alarm should be gives so if there is, if the vehicle is going on the on road nothing should be happen for the first time i'm sending the data to the website no obstacle and no accident detected it is going fine yeah here mcp2515 can controller and 12551 can trans receiver high low so let us coming into the hardware part so here i'm using an uh, transmitter unit and i'm using one controller section so this is a HCSR04 ultrasonic sen sensor I am using. It can detect up to 1, 1.5 meters. Okay. So I am using three LEDs. Green, red, yellow. And here I am using one ARM7 LPC2148 uh, board I am using. So this is a 64 pin IC. QDIP quadrupole dual in package line. They are having two ports. Port 0 and port 1. Port 0 consists of 0.0, .0 and port 1 consists of P1.16 to P1.31. Port 0 consists of 0.0, .0 to 0.31. Port 1 consists of P1.16 to P1.31. And this is max 232 and this is 16 cross 2 LCD display. And here I am using one separate transformer, bridge rectifier, filter capacitor, 7805 regulator and one LED. Okay. So this entire section is called power supply section. And this is ISP button and this is reset button. This is a 12 megahertz crystal. And here MCP2515 CAN controller and MCP2551 CAN trans receiver I am using. So this entire section is the transmitter unit. So this is sending the data to the CAN high low. So CAN high low and it is giving to the CAN, CAN trans receiver IC. And CAN trans receiver IC is sending the data to the CAN controller. Actual diagram looks like. So ARM7 it is connected to the chip select P020, P019 MOSI, P018 MISO, P017 clock, P016 interrupt and P015 and it is connected to the 1 and 2nd of MCP2515 and CAN high CAN low. Okay. So here it is connected to the these pins. This is CAN ARM7 um, um, LPC2148. Same board lcd here i am using one gprs modem i am using sim 800l so i am using two power sources i am using three power source okay now i am going to give like this okay so you have to reset first okay then here also you need to reset the button okay so here the gprs modem is there initializing 850 megahz to 1800 megahz frequency okay no error distance is thousand okay so if it is if it is 50 okay here GPRS is 
so here the network sig signal yeah just now came so welcome can protocol implementation in automobiles receiver unit this is transmitter unit and this is the receiver unit can okay can error means the data is not coming to this board it is saying that error gpr start okay okay i am out okay so there is no vehicle in front of there is no vehicle it is saying that you can go in 100 centimeter there is no obstacle vehicle motor should be on with a maximum speed okay now we will check the uh, data onto the web page okay so here this is our uh, page in that page welcome to can protocol can based collision so i am giving the username test and the password i given to the student called test1 okay submit okay so for can based collision okay so now now the time is 3:30 uh, to okay no vehicle no no obstacle okay no obstacle and no obstacle okay so just now we are sending the data okay this is a uh, 2:30 na so it should be half an hour, one hour, half an hour uh, above okay so now you can observe it i am taking one uh, one vehicle like this it should be green okay so it is sending the data oh uh, i added near to the vehicle it is saying that 2 cm below and it is saying that obstacle vehicle collision occurred okay and i am showing as a green now we can see the data yeah just now the accident occurred at the position okay okay now i i removed that uh, obstacle now it is saying that no vehicle it is going on road happy okay once you can uh, see okay red Fifty means in the half distance. Half distance, it will tell you to the motor. Motor, the speed will be decreases. Alarm should be on. You take left direction or right direction. Okay. If the vehicle there is no vehicle in front, it should be green. It should be green, and it will go maximum speed. Alarm should be off. If vehicle, if vehicle reaches to the near to that uh, near to that vehicle, it is saying that. the obstacle is coming in front you have to take left direction or right direction and the vehicle speed will be decreases okay if the vehicle touches to the touches to the it means orange color indicators on 2 cm okay http starts vehicle accident occurred okay so it 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 stops the motor and it continues gives the alarm and it sended the data to our page okay this is the final one okay just now our a vehicle accident occurred vehicle accident occurred so we sended the data to the base station with that base station we are going to present as per the student requirement we done like that only in future development we can add for the gps and we can take the uh, latitude longitude from the satellite from satellite and we can push the data to our base station where the exact is exact accident is occurred but this is the base paper the student given like that only we done this is the led in that uh, can based collision avoidance and rear end uh, rear hand collision like that base paper is there they explain me you have to do like this project so this is uh, some uh, mtech level project they asked me so one is transmitter unit and one is the receiver unit this will uh, continuously take the data from the uh, obstacle 1 1 meter there is no obstacle off meter the obstacle is detected and if it is accident occurred in between in between and it will send the data to here this board and this board will be send the data to our server so okay so we used one uh, small web page in that iot we are enabling the internet onto the sim card okay idea sim card with that idea sim card we are going to send the data onto the web page okay so here i am using one sim card 
idea sim card in that idea sim card i am enabling the internet settings gprs okay with that gprs only we can send the data to our page and thanking you if there is any doubt let me know to svs embedded